The burritos at an AI conference. Which one? That's sick. AE Global Summit for Problems for AI in London South. Blue Strikes coming to Thailand in December. Cloud Computer? I don't know, man. I think Cloud Computer is just a bit of an experiment at the moment. It's not really like something I'd be like really interested to try. I don't think it'll be very reliable. But I'm excited to see like these OS agents build. Obviously, Open Interpreter, Agent Zero, the Agent C, SEA, so many of them like this. Duck, what's up? Can I get TTS to say something? Yes, hold on. I got 11 labs TTS now, check it. Can you set TTS, say what's up tech friend, when I use WTF? Oh, when you use WTF, it says it every time. That'd be pretty interesting. I wish I had freaking TikTok, but still no stream key. I was hoping to get it like 24 days ago, pretty much. But no, what am I working on? Any new projects? I have been playing around with this one project. Um, Yeah, so there's this project I found on GitHub called Gemini Video Scrubber. I've been looking for a user interface for like the Gemini API specifically for videos. And and this was pretty cool. This kind of makes, you can give it your own prompt as well, um, but it it's kind of built to make um, timestamps for videos. Actually, I think I've showed it last stream. TDS sounds a bit tipsy like me after fourth beer. Yeah, without having to run it, because I do have to upload a video every time. Actually, I, I, I figured out I can upload a five megabyte video. Hopefully I'm on the right branch. I upload just this five megabyte video. The UI still looks bad, but yeah, so the one change I made compared to the original project, so I forked this project and I made it so you could save prompts and then like repopulate them just saves me a bit of timing and i tried to save like video uploads as well using ada and klein both of them failed but i got better results with um klein i think the issue is like when i don't know a repository and which files to work on um klein seems to do a better job of like having the context of which files are actually the relevant ones compared to ada uh yeah even this five megabyte video takes a while to upload to gemini i'm not sure it might be on the wrong branch and it's broken not sure either give us some more time but yeah essentially it generates kind of time stamps like this but you can say like extract specific things i mean i just did this to kind of play around with it i'm not really sure exactly what user interface i want and one of the issues i found with this gemini when you go to query the video again there's a limit so i've tried to upload these big videos which are like 600 plus megabytes so i'm actually able to be able to prompt on those unfortunately yeah anyway um there's a few things that i wanted to show i seem like a pretty typical agent framework that's the thing I've, there's so many agent frameworks like they became popular kind of like this time last year maybe even a bit earlier like we had autogen crew ai i think it was like autogen was the first hype one crew ai was the second one and that's kind of like the phase after we had like auto gpt baby agi agent gpt that was like the first phase of agents then we had the crews autogen crew ai i guess before that we had like langchain these are all kind of still around but none of them seem too necessary and valid across the board if that makes sense i don't know that's just my perception of it are there any ai video editors that just condense a video um but are context aware yeah it depends what kind of edits you're trying to do i've been sponsored by uh Vizard before and there like i think they have some pretty good tools but there's like opus clap there's so many other kind of tools like this but so visit has a spark 1.0 thing where you can actually prompt like a specific thing to be like cut out of your video um specific clipping so that's pretty cool and you can like paste youtube urls there as well yeah the hype around autogen and autogen studio yeah it's like something that you know i feel like it's still cool like the hype wasn't completely unjustified but it's like the long term we'll see how it plays out really because i can say personally i barely ever use autogen or any of those framework crew ai um yeah but maybe i'm not their target audience okay aies as i said they have a bunch of online tools you can't see the list as easily like this okay i guess i got them like this and these are all um 100 free for commercial and personal use so yeah, it seems like you can just go online and use them. You don't even have to sign up. You can't even sign up if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Um, and they, they seem like very generous people. They're also sponsoring my video. So I thought I'd show it on stream as well. What do you think is the best AI for coding currently? One is able to set up a proper backend with a database. Yeah, I think I really like Klein now. Um, the VS Code extension Klein. It's, it can like run commands and analyze whole repo prompts pretty well. Obviously there's Cursor. Um, there's Ada as well and yeah i mean today as of today all this stuff changes so fast but as of today i'm liking klein the most and i don't think i even have the new sonnet model is that 
Is that the new one? I don't think it is. For some reason I've been using that, but yeah. I think on Cursor you can get the new one, but hold on, let me double check. New Sonnet Open Router. Is it on Open Router? Actually, you could probably get it on whatever. Dude, did they make it? Did they make it so that... Hold on. I have suspicion that... Is this it? I don't think this is it. Maybe. Oh, 49%. Okay, yeah. This is the latest one. Have I tried Claw Computer? I haven't. Yo, Abandoned Bullet, what's up? Good to see you. I have not tried um whatever <laughs> Claw Computer. Um, I wanted to try... Okay, so one thing I, I want to preface about this AI is like i wasn't able to upload a very big file into this it was like maximum five megs for the image and larger the other files were fine uh what else do they have restoration passport photo yeah the background removing this is something that people want sometimes um with passport photos you need to have like a blank white background so yeah that's a tool i could have used once i remember using actually photoshop to manually do that once mobs what's up um yeah png maker i think that's pretty cool i wonder if it'll work with um logos let's like try to get a logo that like doesn't exist i think uh but even like you know sometimes it's not an actual png it's like a jpg so it's like like this okay that's an actual png what about um cool logo i don't know or yeah like this i wonder how it does with vector images do they have an api i don't think so i think this is just this is just like online web ui tool open image address yeah all right this is a pretty complex shape let's see how it does with this because i feel like most um systems are actually better with what do you call it better with like real life objects like 3d objects and they might struggle with this 2d object i don't know or i could be wrong it could be the other way around it could be better with 2d but i'm curious because this is kind of like a use case i have it's like sometimes i try to get these icons in png format off the internet um but they don't like they as you saw with this one if i actually wanted it the real thing i will it was um you know it had watermarks on it so this way i can hopefully make it into a png or oh, kind of i mean that's about the same as like what photoshop would give you you know sometimes it thinks parts of it are part of the background but it, you know false positive they have a vectorizer tool i don't remember seeing that what else do they have green screen remover background changer watermark remover Ooh, dude that's interesting let's see if that works save this image watermark remove watermark oh i saved it as an avif the hell is it avif export that to jpg please oh, it on the desktop uh desktop there we go okay remove watermarks oh there's a manual mode as well <laughs> Mark remover is crazy yeah it's cool to have these tools because you know some people are paying like 70 dollars a month for adobe just to use kind of these tools headshot enhancer yeah enhancer oh ai fill face look that's pretty cool i get face the joker wait no yeah i have a photo of me on my desktop it's a pretty shit photo but see what it does if i try to put my face on the joker i think it'd be better if i was looking at the camera oh they even do multiple faces pretty good oh shit that kind of does look like me as the joker that's pretty good there you go a free face swap online as well for halloween i could be the joker and i would look like this that's pretty good maybe i should be the joker joker doesn't have a beard though right what's ai filter oh so they got a ps2 filter damn that's awesome guys let's get turn my selfie into a ps2 filter i remember so many people wanted this ps2 filter back in the day they have a monster filter here we go all this for halloween guys oh so if you want to download you have to sign up but you can also just drag the image into a new tab and save it this looks like the full res image how big was that file 63 kilobytes holy crap i wonder they have a image enhancer i wonder if this photo will work with their own image enhancer let's see uh ai tools photo enhancer enhance photos for free upload the joker ps2 filter still loading your image should be ready in about 10 seconds 10 9 oh that doesn't really look like me it does look pretty good ps2 style hold on does that drag to a new tab work everywhere if it's an image it should it's like the same as right clicking and going um open images new tab but you know they've disabled right click here so dragging still work <laughs> bit of a life hack for you all right what about pixel art um one of my best videos uh, well, like most viewed videos on youtube is ps2 filter comfy ui yeah this one ps2 ai filter tutorial how to run for free locally this one got thirty one thousand views my best youtube video but um um what, what you need, need to, to do, do is... but yeah it's not really a topic I, I wanted to go deeper into because after i made this like we got a lot of people in the discord that wanted to do like comfy ui stuff but, or like when i had problems with comfy ui i'm like bro i do not want to be engaging and learning about like comfy ui that deeply compared to what i also was more passionate about which was like the ai of coding and stuff that's so kind of like what i'm trying to even focus on oh here we go look at the ai enhancer so let me zoom this out here we go which one's enhanced oh man now this time i don't know if it'll let me download it 
Okay, so the more wrinkly one, I think, is the non in hand. Okay, I can't drag this. I'm gonna have to log in to download that one. It's five megs now. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a higher quality. Check it out. Like, let's zoom in. It's also like smoothened though. So it's like less detail, but higher, more pixel. <laughs> I know. Oh, okay, it's pretty good. Compare it to the um, original. That's way more pixelated. The original on the right. Yeah, original is way more pixelated. But there's also like some details lost. Like, look at the, the depth on the wrinkles in the original and the shape of this scar yeah which you know you kind of expect with ai and image enhancing but yeah i think overall really good job definitely makes it a higher quality image um yeah color correction noise reduction sharpness enhancement blurriness removal they have a lot of free tools for images specifically yeah if you want to check them out it's a i e s a i e a s e dot a i but it doesn't like clickless contract clickless is very limited i've kind of stopped development on it because i think these os agents will be maybe better eventually they definitely eventually will be Currently, I don't know. Free tool here. This is what we're going into next. The most efficient AI systems, the way you haven't seen before, this is a long -ass video. at every scale. Liquid Foundation models are a new generation of generative AI models developed by Liquid AI. These models are designed to offer improved efficiency and performance compared to traditional AI models, such as those based on the Transformer architectures. Oh shit, Liquid models aren't based on Transformers? But yeah, I didn't know. I, I realized Liquid's actually outperforming those Transformer models. I didn't realize it wasn't a transformer model itself pretty good but i don't think it's that relevant to coding as far as i've seen but yeah still cool because i don't know these kind of architecture innovations are very very good for the like um, ecosystem i think okay so reccloud.com free online ai speech to text i want to check it out supports multiple languages paragraph and summary and data privacy guaranteed our server automatically purges all files within 30 minutes video to text audio to text speech to text can we upload videos and have them transcribed also how fast is it two interesting questions but we're on the way it's just like day three of oh that was so far engineer day three of becoming a hundred x engineer yeah i'm in some like day three right now okay yeah and you can chat with it i see you can chat with the video you can also get this one click summary of the video conversation indicates that a is on a journey to becoming a hundred x engineer yeah even translate it but that costs money okay translating costs money but the transcription and is the chat free how many x engineer <laughs> Okay, the chat is not free as well, but the summary and the transcription is free. Now let's look over our own internal shared links. Let's go. Uh, music generator. This is another like Suno thing, I assume. I haven't seen this one before. Mureka.ai. Music generator. I always like deep house. Let's just get the base, the basic deep house. Because that's kind of what I do with Suno. Can you also put lyrics? Yeah, you can also put lyrics. Oh, and a reference song. Oh, you can choose from specific... Choose from specific singers as well. That's pretty sick. Record a melody. So you can hum out a melody. Yeah, can we do that? In a world where technology evolves, AI is playing every role. I really like deep house. It actually made a different um different category dance electronic that's not what i wanted i just wanted deep house i guess i i guess the basic is too basic or like it doesn't let you i don't know i definitely i don't know i don't know why didn't it i guess maybe deep house isn't one of their oh. The, the the intro is actually to the same um, melody as the as the, da, 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 the thing I hum. Words are a bit hard for that rhythm. I didn't realize it was going to do that. I thought that. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. I think you can do reference audio in Suno as well now. I haven't tried it. Yeah, upload audio. Pretty cool. All right, what else do we have? Agent XZ. Apparently they say, oh, Rocky said this is the easiest way to let Claude New, to let Claude New's computer use your own computer. Oh, is that what it means? I thought it said to run Claude computer because I think the easiest way to run it would probably, What's going on on that would probably just be off replic. But is this going to be using his own computer? <laughs> oh, it is. This is pretty cool. Interface right here. Here's an example of it in action so you can see here it's running right now and you can see that it's finding flights for seattle for next
Tuesday or to Wednesday. Take over your computer, yeah. Supported only Mac, but theoretically Windows and Linux. Okay, that's pretty cool. Git clone, npm install, npm start. And you just need your API key. It's pretty easy to set up too. You have to book the flight pretty well. Um, But yeah, I don't think like this is going to be able to do a lot of things at this stage. So I'm kind of waiting till it gets better Um, before I just spend a whole bunch of money playing around with it. Local Rewind, yeah, I saw this video by Mike Bird um, using screen pipe and open interpreter to kind of ask about their like everything that it's seen on your screen and you can run it fully locally thanks to both uh, both these open source platforms get the full context of your date and have an active on it so, so by, by now you know, know i love open interpreter, interpreter my favorite open, open source project, project it, it lets elms run code and is a natural language interface for controlling your computer this 2b multimodal um model by deep seek seem really cool because it can do image to image janice 1.3 um i think there's a space for it how do we see the space here deep seek ai Janus 1.3. I see. All right. Um, so you can upload. You can do text to image. And you can also do image understanding. But it should be able to do image to image. They don't have not set up the front end for that. There's another model that I came across today that can do image to image. And that's Omnigen. Let's see if there's a space for that. Omnigen. Yeah. Here it is. Omnigen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. So you can run. You can upload an image. So let me find that selfie I had. Let's see if we can do character consistency with my my selfie there's a selfie one on my desktop this is screenshot ngo.png here we go it's the image of me i'll be like and then you can reference it by going this image tag um oh i guess you put another reference image to be like make yeah let's do that let's find like some other image PDF, png like this oh yeah this is cool let's see if it can make me in the style of that like use the person in the first image to be in the style of the image too all right hopefully that'll work gonna do 55 inference steps i don't know what guidance scale is seed 42 that's fine Buck recommends rave dj i hope this works i think did i try it here i think i did try it here and it didn't work damn it wait where did i try it yeah actually it didn't work um you can also run it locally that's how i kind of first saw it is they have it on pinocchio which I haven't installed on my Mac. If I want to learn about AI and Mel, what's the resource I can go with? Tech friend. Nice. Yeah, which part of AI? I guess you could learn like all the theory and academic stuff with like those many courses. And I like free education on YouTube. I think they teach all the basics of like the algorithms of AI and like how they work. But it's not really something I was into. If you're more into the practical side, the AI engineering side, that's kind of what I'm more into. Um, you can kind of go, you can go to this link in techfriend.net, learn AI and so for engineering and it'll bring you to uh, scrimba.com with my affiliate link and here scrimba i think they have really good courses for learning like software engineering coding from beginner to advanced including like they have ai agents courses and yeah they seem really good and they have an editor that you can like use and you know like go along while you're learning to you know um so you can actually learn by doing so yeah it's really good that's what i'd recommend we've installed the pip install so apparently we just need to install gradio spaces I probably should have done this in a conda environment as well but i think it will be fine <laughs> definitely should have done this in the condo environment is this it oh yeah three blue one brown they had some videos inside an llm i feel like this is so good like the quality of this video is so good. the first word is forward enough these are bots that generate new text retrained refers to how to model with the process of learning from a massive amount of data and the prefix insinuates there's more room to fine-tune it on specific tasks with additional training is go through yeah that video was really good and there's also like andre kaparthi apparently people really like his videos he's like one of the ogs that made like gpt i'm pretty sure and he has a youtube channel um yeah people really like his videos too and then i guess this is like a bit more old school andrew ng has like courses he's considered pretty respected in the ai space he's a bit more og anyway um let's try run this yeah as i thought all of this stuff gets downloaded um what happened to my hugging face yeah error my hugging face things broke break all the time so i'm trying to run this radio face i think it's still yeah and still so okay model to save tensors this is a 15 gigabyte Oh, model. Not sure, if I'll even be able to run that. I'll let it run. Um, there's a new Gemini competition, long contest competition uh, on Kaggle. So yeah, I mean, if you entered something into the previous Gemini competition, you might be eligible to submit that same thing into this Gemini long contest competition. Prizes and awards, hundred thousand dollars. I don't know how that split. Um, how long do you have? You have one month to go. It started seven days ago. So sorry, I'm seven days late for letting you guys know. But yeah, um, check it out at kaggle.com/competitions. Gemini, you can probably just search Kaggle Gemini long context and um, yeah, it'll come.
come up. It was the first link there. Oh, 25k across three winners. Thanks. Thanks, Lazy. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to run this model. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll probably end this stream if my computer crashes. So thanks everyone for joining. If we crash, which I think is a pretty high chance. This model's too big to run on my M1. Driving down the M1. About to spin, so we out. Take run out.